Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Dr. Nisha Bhatnagar, Senior IVF Specialist at Avaya Fertility and IVF Center. Today we are going to talk about a failed IVF cycle. So failed IVF cycle is a very disheartening situation for the patient as well as the doctor. More so because sometimes there is no clear cut evident reason. Patient don't understand what went wrong in the last cycle. But trust me, a failed IVF cycle is not a lost cycle. We understand a lot about the patient, about the couple from the last cycle. We gather information about what was done in that cycle, what else can be done in this cycle to increase the chances of success. Let's begin at a beginning. Once we start a treatment for a couple, it is usually on the general lines. But after giving medicine and injection for few days, we try to understand the response of the patient. We try to assess the response of the patient. And from this, we understand that whether the dose needs to be increased or decreased. So once you are coming after a failed cycle, it is my request to please bring all the papers with you. You should have all this information. What was the injection used? What was the starting dose? How many dose the, days the stimulation lasted? What was the number of eggs retrieved? How many of them were mature eggs? Was it a day or two or a day three transfer? How many embryos reached day two or day three stage? And what was the grade of those embryos? Once we have all this information, we can analyze your cycle in a better manner to plan it for a better success the next time. If you are not given all this information, please log in it yourself so that you have all this information when you still remember and you can bring it to the next center. For example, if it was a high dose stimulation, this time we can go for a mild stimulation, which is going to give us a better quality of eggs. The number of eggs, the blastulation rate, whether it reached day two, day three, day five, how many embryo reached day five out of the given number of eggs, all this gives us an idea about what else can be done the next time. There are new issues which can become evident now because which we have no clue about previously. For example, egg quality, sperm quality, the problems associated with the uh, uterus. If the problem is egg quality, we can do things to improve the egg quality. For example, if it is because of low reserve, Things like PRP or stem cell therapy can be done to increase the egg quality. Patient may opt to go for a mild stimulation or for yoga, counseling, lifestyle modification, acupressure, acupuncture, all these things, putting them on supplements, taking antioxidants, smoking stopping, drinking stopping and uh, having a holistic lifestyle which may improve the quality of the gametes. If the problem is associated with the poor sperm quality, again these things can be repeated for the male, specifically the smoking and drinking part which should be cut down. There are things which we can do to select a better quality sperm. There can be advanced sperm te testing. For example, DNA fragmentation index can be done to find out about the uh, percentage of sperm having a fragmented DNA. And if this percentage is high, we can use special techniques to select uh, non-fragmented uh, sperms which gives you a better chance of success. Techniques like microfluidics, zymote chip which can be used to select the better sperm. If the problem is associated with the uterus, the anatomy of the uterus, we can do tests like hysteroscopy to know about the internal structure of the uterus. If it is a thin endometrium, then again things can be done to improve the uh, vascularity, morphology and appearance of the endometrium making it better. For example, stem cell therapy and PRP to increase the thickness and vascularity of the endometrium. There are other techniques. If we see that the embryo is very good, the lining is very good, still the implantation is not happening, then the patient may opt for PGS or PGT which can give you a genetically normal or euploid embryo which we can transfer in this cycle. Specifically in cases of recurrent implantation failure or repeat pregnancy loss, this test has a huge importance. In some cases, if the patient is still not getting result, they may need to opt for donor egg or donor sperm to increase their chances of success. If the problem is associated with the endometrium, 
the surrogacy might be the answer. If you want to know more about any of these options or if you have any questions related to any of these, please feel free to contact us at the given numbers or you can chat with us at the given numbers. Thank you so much.